On Tuesday, February 8th, the Catoosa community will have an opportunity to dream bigger. We have put a lot of thought and consideration into the future of our school and our community. As we move into this future, we can give our students a stronger foundation, all without raising your taxes. We can combine our elementary schools into one new campus. With expanded gym space, the new elementary school will create a collaborative learning environment for all pre-K through fifth grade students. The new gym will increase student access to youth sport activities while serving as a storm shelter during school. We could increase campus security. Currently, students and staff are vulnerable to public access due to a large number of entry points and exposed playgrounds. The new building will have one controlled entry point for visitors, as well as enclosed playground spaces. We can finally give our students new learning spaces to replace these 60 and 80 year old buildings. And improve the campus safety. The current elementary schools were built in 1938 and 1962. The new facility would include enhanced structural security, improved lighting and ventilation, and upgraded parking and student pickup all measures that will help keep our students safe. We can give our students enhanced learning opportunities. The new elementary school will increase the average classroom size by 300 square feet to meet state recommended standards. Students will receive upgraded technology, a modernized library, and dedicated spaces for STEM, arts, and music. The new gymnasium will also feature a stage for performances and special events. We can create a better future for our schools and our community. A new elementary school will accommodate future growth and boost economic development in Catoosa while attracting and retaining new families. This bond issue is an investment in the future for our children, our economy, and our community, all without a tax increase. Dream bigger with Team Catoosa by voting February 8th. Sueña con el equipo Catoosa y vota este 8 de febrero.